Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoy this video, please call random numbers and scream Modest Pelican and then hang up, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. Now obviously we know my very original GTA Online character Thick Man that I created with no influence from anything else is no joke. I mean for God's sake the man's tears are so powerful they can cure terminal illness. Although it's never happened as he never cries. He's a real alpha chad and internalizes his emotions like a champ. This being said I feel like my character needs one last item that will really complete his image. What's the one thing that every man respects and no woman can resist? The item that every gamer wishes they had. The thing that families of seven or more often purchased to make commuting easier. That's right, we're talking about a family-friendly minivan. Don't believe me, look what happens when I show my friend Aches. Hey Aches, would you um would you be with this man? Uh like what do you mean be with him? You mean like like hang out would with him? Would you physically like... would you be physically intimate with my GTA online character? That's kind of like a really weird question. He's a GTA character. Why would I want to have sex with a GTA character? Alright. What about if you knew that he drove this? I would let that man rail me whenever you want <laughs> Yeah, I want him to put it in my this isn't just any minivan either. I spent over a million dollars customizing this malacca to have maximum performance upgrades. A Mexican vibing skull, door speakers so I can play Africa by Toto, or I mean any normal relatable songs that align with my demographic. You see, the real reason I purchased this van is to impress the boys. Today I'll be joined by Stealtho Carbo, Stealtho Mato, and Zanny, who told me that if he's going to play GTA Online, he expects me to pick him up in a cool car. Honestly, pretty excited to see everybody's reaction. What's up, Zanny? This is not the best car. Drive away. This is the best car. I just literally spent ages doing this up, man. Are you serious? Uh, I wanted a Maserati, but I guess this will have to do. Look at Will's piece of shit. We'll hop in, man. <laughs> We're obviously going to take this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk real quick. Oh, look at gangster I look. Oh what shit, that actually is kind of gangster. <laughs> oh no, not grenade relate, surely not. I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm so condemned. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I've never been great at reading the room, but I think it's safe to say the van is a massive success with the lads. Now it's time to continue with our heist. The problem is, Zanny is shooting absolutely everything that moves, just like everyone when they first play Grand Theft Auto. Yes, this is his first time, we promised to make it special. The first time I fooled around with a girl, I also promised to make it special, and I guess you could say I thoroughly achieved that goal. Her older brother was in the next room, aggressively calling people racial slurs while he played Call of Duty. Her door didn't have a lock, and I lasted about 23 seconds. A truly magical afternoon. Anyway, for us to successfully complete the heist, we all need to be on the same wavelength. I decide our best bet is a cheeky team building exercise and nothing beats a long mountain hike, except gaming inside for hours and debatably literally any other activity. I'm more about the metaphorical side of this hike and I also don't want to get stuck on a mountain top so I drive Big Red Mamazito most of the way up. Well, you don't want to destroy it too much. Felix. Right? Felix. Oh. Fuck this car, actually. Oh my oh, god. The what the fuck? Send the regards. Yeah, this is my fucking van, boys. This is the only way out of here as well. We probably don't want to... See ya. Well... Oh, look at it go. I love physics. That's car, bro. Well, fuck you guys. Oh, wow. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. And to the surprise of everyone involved, we bond together like brothers. And of course, I'm kidding. It's my group of friends after all. <laughs> Oh, hey, our team building oh, no, exercise. No, no. Oh, yeah, this is going badly. Oh, he's up. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? Three out of four is not bad. Let's just go. Let's just punch him without him. You keep going. I'll catch up. Wow. Thank you, Zane. Sorry. Seems like a tensional. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, Zaddy, we'll just be the team building part of this. If you King hit me twice, three times. <laughs> Under the top head is cheese. No, nice. <laughs> Twice good to have some cheese. <laughs> do you have a parachute, Zan? Wait, do we all have parachutes? Yeah, you I should have, you should have one, man. It'll auto deploy once you hit a certain height, Zan. Oh, auto deploy. All right, there's, there's no manual deploy button. No, you just got to get a good run up, and once you start falling, it'll. You, you, yeah. Here we go, then. Woo! 
There's no auto deploy and there's no other parachute. I'm, you sacrificed me for content. <laughs> I did. The real test, however, is that we are now stuck in the middle of nowhere, but fortunately my mechanic truly is an alpha chad with frankly no life. Man needs to get a hobby. He should start a YouTube channel because apparently you can just questionably narrate your gameplay and over time a wholesome community will form and flood your comment section with hydration jokes and communist propaganda. I'm of course speaking about you guys because I love you intimately. I'll probably just start taking STD medication proactively because of all the sex I'll be having due to this van, but even I'll admit it's quite slow. The Stealth Omato politely asks me if I can run over this dodgy Malacca who's trying to flex his hiking skills on us and of course I'm happy to do so. Lads and lasses, it's time to make bank. We head over to my facility and there's something so sweet about this drive, can't lie. I guess I'm just a big fan of renewable energy. Sorry, that was a terrible dad joke. I'll go drown myself after I post this video. I park the big girl inside and instantly feel quite bad. You see, I forgot about the hydration station wagon we purchased months ago. We had a competition to name this and everything. I guess it's like an unspoken rule of GTA Online where you save up and get all hyped about purchasing a vehicle and then instantly forget about it forever. I proceed to show Zanny around my facility. Oh, you do have staff. Yeah, man. Dude, she's hot. Yeah, she keeps it tight. I will kill her now. Oh, I can't. <laughs> it feels crazy attempting the Doomsday Heist again. I'm pretty sure I already mentioned it, but a few of the Sons of Virgins episodes were removed because comedy is dying. Why can't we just mock everyone no matter how disadvantaged they are with absolutely no repercussions? You know what? We're the oppressed ones. Gamers unironically have it hardest in life. We deserve medals or government pensions or something. Anyway, it'll be good to have the complete Doomsday Heist back on the channel. Stealth Okabo then has the audacity to suggest we don't take the minivan and so I take the high road and use a sticky bomb to demonstrate my feelings. It's rare that a fuel guzzling people mover comes between a group of friends, but morale is starting to dip. Oh, we're going to the top of the map. It's gonna take us the whole night. Oh wait, stop, there's a train coming, stop. stop. I wanna make it, I can beat it. Close. <laughs> that was like the same from Fast and the Furious, but like way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> After one of the longest drives of my life, we finally arrive at the destination, and I kid you not, Zanny dies almost immediately, closely followed by Stealth Carbo. Imagine having the ability to edit your friend's deaths out of a video, but instead you overly focus on it. I used to do this to Stealth Carbo back when I had like 50 subscribers, and years later, absolutely nothing has changed. I mean, what's the point of growing a platform if you don't then use it to publicly roast your closest friends? I use a ramp car to satisfy clear the road so the lads can shoot down the helicopters. It's at this moment I see an opportunity. I see a chance to capture potentially the greatest train shot this channel has ever witnessed. For anyone who's new here, we love overhyping cinematic train shots. I honestly hope this becomes another pillar of the brand. So far we've got staying hydrated, educational Christian music, communism, and I truly believe celebrating footage of trains is the natural next step. Oh, what a, what a train shot. <laughs> there it is. It's happening. <laughs> I gotta get right up alongside it. You boys alright? No. So, I'm just doing something pretty. <laughs> We're getting content. You guys will be fine. That's it. That's the shot. Holy shit, it's good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what, if could, like, what if you could like jump in front of oh, it God. during oh. uh, during the cinematic camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I right, should really go help the boys. Thanks to a valiant effort from Carbo and Mato, we complete the heist preparation. Like I said, I'm not great at reading the room, but if you watch the footage very carefully, you can see that Carbo has started dropping subtle hints that he's sick of driving around in a minivan. This is not you. That's not Will. Oh, it's Will. Jesus. <laughs> All it's right, it's funny. When, when we get griefed by a frog. <laughs> See ya. I kept the dream alive for as long as possible, but it's now time to use the overpowered vehicles. It also comes to our attention that Zanny is homeless. Imagine not having generational wealth, but yeah, he decides to buy himself a virtual home. We immersively drive to his new residence, and I've got to say, I don't know how on earth he afforded this place. It's got a nice pool, and we have one of our famous bro pool parties to wind down a little. We then all proceed to pretend that most houses in the city don't have this exact same interior, as to not ruin this monumental occasion. Today oh here Vulnerable motto. <laughs> no, don't do it. No, no. I'm a virgin. Cuddle up to the target, Agent 47. <laughs> <laughs> now with the home, it's time to get this man armed as he's been using a handgun this entire time. 
The lads proceed to online bully me for a while, which I more than deserve. I take the high road and get my van back and then explode their car so that they can start riding in style once again. We arrive and park between the lines because immersion. Zan then buys a gun and the first thing he does is try to brutally murder me. I bought myself a flashlight which I shine on him and we can now observe a new GTA player in a foreign habitat. He's managed to acquire himself an RPG and is behaving aggressively to everything in his vision to assert dominance. And now confused and out of ammunition, he stands still shocked. A pair of more experienced players move in to acquaint themselves with the now heavily armed life form. The herd grows toxic as it's been more than 10 seconds seconds since someone lashed out and everybody begins beating each other to death. Forgetting friendly fire is off, the herd slowly dies out one by one to the native police officers who have moved in and opened fire. Despite many ongoing conversations about friendly fire being disabled, one of the alpha gamers attempts a brave suicide bombing on the herd. Eventually everybody perishes. In fact, most of the recording session we were under pursuit by police. I think I had a wanted level more than half the time we were playing. We head back to the facility and hook right back into the heist. Our next prep is to assassinate some guy and steal his briefcase because it has something important in it. Damn, that is some deep storytelling right there, but at least Thick Man knows his way around an assassination. Not because of any link to Agent 47. I can't stress how much Thick Man is a completely unique character I invented, there's no copyright issues here. I really can't stop thinking about how much Zanny looks like a Discord mod. A real alpha one though, as he's traded in his fedora for a full-blown tall Lincoln top hat. He's the head admin with full perms amongst a bunch of peasant base moderators. We follow the target, but naturally get spotted almost immediately. Zan fires one rocket, destroying the big girl's car, and then Mato finishes him off with a ray gun. I kick his corpse several times, as I'm all about picking fights you're sure you can win. There's been a lot of YouTube boxing events lately, and I think it's time old Modest Pelican dusts off the gloves and gets in the ring. I was thinking, who can I fight that would be a true spectacle and a real event for the whole online community to enjoy? Then it came to me. There's this happy little guy called Ryan who has an extremely family-friendly channel called Ryan's World where he plays with toys and I'm confident I could knock the lad out. I've never lost a fight to an eight-year-old before and I feel it'd be good exposure for him as he only has 29 million subscribers. Balls in your court, Ryan. Heist prep complete, the productivity is almost overwhelming. In fact, we start flying through the missions at a rate that would impress even the most sweaty of speedrunners. We shoot helicopters out of the sky so we can secure cars with mounted machine guns on them, which seems overly elaborate, but I'm all about that life. With everything almost set up, it's time to celebrate the day with a little light gambling. Imagine a world in which Zanny wins the car first spin, it would be a truly momentous occasion. He proceeds to win a baseball cap that says like and subscribe on it. Thanks for watching you absolute legends, it feels damn good to be making Sons of Virgins content again, can't wait for the finale. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.